So look, I'm doing a documentary, a project about money, why people are broke, why they don't have any money. I'm down here in the heart of Vegas, old Vegas. And I'm gonna see if I can stop some of these people and ask them, hey, what did your parents teach you about money? I wrote this book. I, I'm doing this project about what what people learned about money. What did your parents teach you about money? To basically to save it, but I've never yeah. been able to do it. <laughs> yeah. It's been hard for me. Yeah, where'd you grow up? Uh, I've been here for off and on for about 23 years. And uh, I was raised in LA. Yeah. Mom and dad? Uh, Stepdad. Stay, yeah. What, what did he teach you about money? My stepdad didn't teach me anything. Well, nothing, huh? <laughs> he taught me how to duck. <laughs> taught you how to duck? Yeah. yeah. He kicked the shot me all the time. Too. Did anybody teach you anything about money? Not really, no. What, 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 what things have, did, have you learned about money? What have people Just told you? About, like, as far as what? Like, how to, did they teach you how to get it? How to make it? How uh, to keep it? Not really how to keep it, but I know I have to work. Yeah. And it's like I'm having a hard time even finding work right now. Yeah. <laughs> How long you been down on your luck, man? Uh, for about a year. Yeah. My mom passed away and I sort of gave up. Yeah. It's 20 bucks, man. Thank you. Okay, man. Hey, let me ask you. See if, see if you can finish. See if you can finish these questions I'm gonna ask you. All right. A penny saved is. A penny earned. Money doesn't grow on. Trees. Money won't make you. Uh, happy. Dude, it's so deep in our society. Rich people are. Uh, I'm not gonna go there, but. No, what? what? Rich <laughs> no, people are what? Assholes, usually. <laughs> hey, my friend, how you doing? Look, I wrote this book called The Millionaire Book. Have you ever heard of it? No. Well, and I'm doing a project where I'm trying to find out what people learned about money as they were growing up as kids. What, what did your parents teach you about money? How to spend it. That's it? That's it. My parents were rich. Oh yeah? And I was poor. And they didn't want me to have anything, so they made me do things my own way. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to learn the hard way, step by step. I left my parents when I was about 13. I've been on my own ever since. I'm 70 now. Wow. I ended up with diabetes, mm. like which I got now, until my legs just swelled up. Wow. Leak. So, I can only stand on my feet for two hours a day. Then I get to sit down and re rest until about nighttime, then I come back out here about 11 o'clock. So you're still working at 70? Yeah. So look, if, if if you had a message for younger people about money, what what what's the biggest mistake you've made, and and what would you tell them? <laughs> biggest mistake I've made? I don't think I made a mistake. No. No, because I learned everything the hard way. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you think the biggest mistake other people are making about regarding money? They don't care. They don't care, huh? That's right. They don't care. They want to live for now, the moment. Yeah. They don't care about the past. Do you think people need more money than they actually think they need? Not, no, not really. No? No. They need it for food. They need it for taking care of their own people. Yeah. Stuff like can you finish this statement? I'm going to ask you a question and see if you can finish it, okay? A penny saved is? A penny earned. Uh, money doesn't grow? On trees. Uh, money won't make you? Happy. Yeah, you know, you got you got the same program and I got, okay? Rich people are? <laughs> I don't know. Rich people I've are I've never what? been rich, so I don't Your know. Your parents were rich. Well, they've been rich, but I'm not me. Yeah. Would you rather be rich or poor? I'd rather be rich. I like that, man. Okay, I'm going to come back and give you something, all right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Make sure it's over on. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Don't get greedy, man. <clears throat> so, you see? Here's a dude, 70 years old, having to work every day. 
You got any 20s, Jared? Yeah. Just give me five, five 20s. It's not 100, man, but it's 20, all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Be great, man. Thank you. Help people out, man. Help people out. Hey, man. Look, I, I wrote this book called The Millionaire Booklet. This is my seventh book I've written, okay? And, and I'm doing a, a project about money, about how uh, Americans have been misinformed about money. Right. W what were you taught about money? What was I taught about money? Yeah. Um, to save money. Uh huh. Um, and you got to work hard to get money. Uh huh. But, you so know, who who I mean, taught you this? Um, my grandfather was uh, the biggest uh, influence. Yeah. yeah. I'd say at 12 years old, he had me working, and um, you know, I was uh, definitely, um, you know, that's where my work ethics came from and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, so let, let me ask you this. See if, see if you can finish these these statements I'm going to ask okay. you. Okay. Money won't make you happy. A penny saved is penny earned. Money doesn't grow on the green grass, no, and trees. Trees. Uh, uh, rich people are rich. They're just rich. No, I've, I've never heard that one. No, like no. rich people are greedy or they're evil oh, or no. I've, I've, money is the root of all evil. What, what what advice would you give somebody out there, 35 years old, about money? About money. Would, would you tell them to go get more, get less? No, I would, pay attention I would to say it? that you should start saving 20 years ago, sucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Um, yeah. What's the biggest mistake you've made with with regards to money? Exactly what I'm preaching: not saving. You know, you I'm just, just spending. Yeah, yeah, you know. You could do it all over again. What what one thing would you not do again? Hmm. Biggest mistake you've made in your life? Biggest. The one mistake. that cost you million a million dollars. Drugs. Drugs. Yep. Drugs and alcohol. You know, being that guy in the bar buying rounds on a Friday, you know, eight hundred dollar check gone on yeah. a Friday, borrowing money, getting a cash advance from the boss on Monday. You know, yeah. <laughs> to make okay, it man. Hey, man. cool, man. Great. There it is, buddy. Okay, you guys out there trying to beat a baller, trying to beat a player. I guarantee you, when that guy was picking up eight hundred dollar checks, he never thought he'd be homeless. Thirty-five years old, teeth all broken. Nobody, nobody. Listen to me. Nobody does drugs thinking they're going to be a drug addict. Nobody, okay? I've known thousands, tens of thousands of them, me included. Nobody does drugs and alcohol thinking one day I'm going to be a junkie. It's a shame, man. You get your money right, okay? You get your money right, at least you can pay for a treatment center. You get your money right, you get to a whole another level of people, man. Look, that guy's got 30 years of that. Don't feel sorry for him today. And I know some of you are going to be like, he's just going to go use that 20 bucks on some drugs. That's his choice. He can do whatever he wants to do with it. It's his money, free country. I didn't give him 20 bucks. He gave me some great, valuable information. And hopefully, you'll take advantage of it. A lot of people down here. A lot of people busted up down here, huh? These places 30 years ago were rocking, man. Sinatra came down here. Dean Martin, all the rat, the rat pack. This is... This thing was rocking hard. Now we could do it right here, guys. Would you mind if we asked you a couple questions on video? We're doing a project about, about money, money. About money. I've written seven books. This is the latest one, a really simple book on money. Okay. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago, great city. What, what, what was the, who was the biggest influencer in your life teaching you about things like money? Uh, probably my grandparents. Yeah. What, what did they teach you about money? Um, they hooked me up with their financial advisor at a very young age. Oh, really? Trust. So, yeah. like, like how were you, you were raised rich? I mean, well uh, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, but what was the message? Just turn it over to somebody else, or, or did they tell you? Um, they were very uh, deliberate about like the amount that you should put in savings versus like the amount you should put as like your discretionary spend. Uh huh. Did it work out? Sure. Yeah. So. Um, no complaints. Now, now what, what, do you, what? Do you have kids? I do. What are you teaching your kids about money? The same. Like what? Like what? So, um, well, obviously, you know, I've also hooked them up with a with my financial advisor, but you know, the importance of, you know, being very deliberate with your spending and then making sure you're making smart investments. Yeah. Um, let's see if you can finish these statements for me, all right? Okay. A penny saved is? A penny earned. Money doesn't grow on? Trees. Money won't make you? Uh, happy. Rich people are? I don't know. <laughs> no? Rich? In your mind, like, 
what, at what number would you consider somebody rich? Like, like what type of, of, of number? Like a net worth number? I mean, I think it depends. What do you think? What's the first number that came to your mind? Like total net worth? Yeah. Probably like a couple mil. Good. Two million dollars, dude. You know how fast you go to two million dollars? Like, like you, then you got to ask yourself, what does rich mean? What does it really mean? Does it mean you have enough money, or you go to sleep at night and you're like, dude, I'm cool, I'm good, yeah. everything's fine. And there's nothing that can freaking wipe me out. So you really got to start asking yourself these questions, parents. That's what you need to start telling your kids. Like, what does this mean? What is two million? What is one million? What is five million? Where would it go? What is deliberate? What is spending? What is making? What is multiplying? This dude, this dude, boy. dude, dude. This is about money, What's man. I'm Bernie. Bernie? Bernie, Bernie. I'm Grant, Grant Cardone. Grant. Okay? I've written several books. I've written seven books on finance and business. And, and uh, uh, this is my most recent book. It's a little 44-page pam uh, pamphlet on a millionaire book on how to make a million dollars. All right. Eh? And then turn it into a hundred million. Yeah, I need that. Dude, what, 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 did you, what did you learn about money as a kid? Um, save it. Save it? Yeah. But who taught you that? My oldies, my parents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it your mom or your dad? Uh, probably my dad more than my mom. And what, what would he say to you all the time? What are you doing with your money, Ben? Uh huh. What are you doing with your money, Ben? And what would you say? Um, I'm saving it. <laughs> yeah. What were you saving it for? Uh, I don't know. Mainly in Australia, we just try and buy a house. You know, that's that's the that's that, the lump. You know, that's what everyone works for. Yeah. So, so did you grow up uh, poor, middle class, or rich? And my mum used to make my own clothes when I was young, and then we built up, and then we built. We lived in a little tiny little crap house, and then uh -huh. we moved to a better one, and then we moved to a better one. So. How much money do you think it would take for you to say, hey, I'm rich? I don't know. I reckon we guys be wealthy enough if I could... I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's, there's, so if, you, if you pick the number, first number that comes to your head. I don't know. A million dollars? One million dollars. U.S. or uh, Australian dollars? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Australian. Uh, okay. uh, right now, Australian money. Uh, see if you can finish these statements, okay? You're from the other part of the universe, right? Yeah. Uh, let's, see if, let's see if it works here. A penny saved is? I don't know. No? No. Um, money, doesn't. money doesn't grow on? Trees. Yeah, good, you got that one. Money is the root of? Happiness. Oh, no. evil. Oh, evil, all right. Get her, get her. Yeah. Get her, do it, babe. Money is the root of? All oh, evil. Uh, rich people are? Assholes. No. Assholes. Dude, if you had a million dollars right now, okay, what, what's the first thing you would do with it? Probably in top of Caesar's Palace. And do what? I don't know, live it up, probably be next to Britney Spears, playing every night. But then, then you just violated what your dad told yeah, yeah, you yeah, man. Yeah, I know that, yeah, but what, well, that's what every rich person do. You don't, there's no point going to the grave yeah. with all your money in your pocket. Yeah, do you think rich people are cool people or bad people, or evil people or what? I don't know, you make your own destiny, man, like everyone's different. Yeah, yeah. Depends yeah. what sort of person you are. Yeah. Would, 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 would a lot of money make you a better person or a worse person? Well, that's what you see, I suppose. No, but you, with you. I don't know, I'd like to see, think of myself as a good person, I'll probably dish it out a bit. Yeah, yeah. One million dollars. Okay, let me tell you. Yeah, if your number's a million, you made a lazy decision. Okay, you made a lazy decision. Dude, let me, let me, so, so I've written several books about money and finance. Okay. What were you taught about money as a kid? Pretty much, careful with it and... You know, be careful. Pretty much, be careful with it and try to use it wisely. Who, who taught you that? My mom. Okay. So she was the major influence. She, she was the one who raised me, pretty much. Did your mom know how to make money? Huh? Did your uh, mom know how to make money? She she made money, to raised me. So yeah. Okay. See if you can finish these statements for me. All right. Uh, a penny saved. A penny saved is. Penny earned. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money won't make you happy. Rich people are? Sad, in a way, you can say. Dude, how much money, how much money would you need in a bank to be like, okay, I got you money? Probably 500,000. Or awesome. you'd be like, I'm rich, yeah. Yeah, well, I'd be solid. Awesome. You're the man, yeah. bro. I appreciate yeah. it, thank you. Um, hey, ladies. Hey, you guys wanna be? You yeah. guys wanna know what you're talking about? Let me, we're talking about this book that I just wrote called The Millionaire Booklet. Ooh. Do we learn how to be a millionaire? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. This is the seventh book I've written. Is this that show where you're tricking us and then you're gonna be like, got you? No, 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 no. Right <laughs> no. on camera. Right there on camera. Oh.
So, look, I got some questions for you guys. Okay, you're the, you're the cutest couple that we've had today. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. So, so I'm going to ask you a question, then you answer it, and then you answer it. Okay, Se sure. separately. All right. Who who was the biggest influence in your life that taught you about money? Oh, myself. You did. You taught yourself. Yeah, I would say. Who taught you? My mom. Okay. What did your mom teach you about money? Spend it wisely. Okay. Did, she, did your mom teach you how to make money? I know, huh? No, I think I did that on my own. Once you make it, you want to make more of it. Yeah. And work harder. Did 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 your mom teach you like how much money? Did did you ever have a lesson lesson about what was enough money to have? No, I don't recall. Were you taught about how much is enough? No, there's never enough. W but was there ever a target? Like, look, did anybody ever sit down and say, look, you actually need this much money to have some financial freedom in life? No. No, no not, not, a, not a limit. No, not no, no. No, no, yes. no. no. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so now I'm going to ask you a question, all right? You got to close your ears right now. Oh, go, okay. You close your ears. Okay. Money doesn't uh, grow on trees. A penny saved is? Earn. Money won't make you. Happy. <laughs> rich people are. I don't know. I don't know that way. No, rich people are what? Fill in the blank. Rich people. Where are, are they? Rich people are what? I was gonna say assholes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Did you hear that? No. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. You fill in the blank. Okay. A penny saved is. A, a, more than a, another penny. Okay, good. <laughs> Money won't grow on. Trees. Money won't make you. Happy. Rich people are filthy. <laughs> filthy <laughs> rich. <laughs> okay, so one more question. One more question. Okay. Okay. How much money would you have to have to have total financial freedom? First number that comes to your mind. Infinity. <laughs> Give me a number. Though. I don't know. Give me a number. Any number. First number that comes to your mind. One hundred thousand million zillion. <laughs> How much money would you need? I have total financial freedom. First number that comes to your mind. 2.5 million. There you go. Okay, you guys are awesome, all right? Really? Thank you guys. What was the number? What was the number? Wait, what do we there do? There is no real number. Do we get something? No, we just, we're, we're, making a, we're making a movie out of it. Oh. What when is it going to be on? Do we get one of your books? Here, yeah. Really? Oh, you know this guy? He's really cute. <laughs> you guys are wrong. We're gonna continue our work on the millionaire booklet and why you have been given the wrong data. So look, if you wanna be part of that, let me know, millionairebooklet.com forward slash free. Send the link below, but check it out. We just did this documentary. We started this project that I'm doing about what the, the, you're broke because you have the wrong data. I believe I have this idea that people are broke, just getting by, struggling way longer than they have to because you have the wrong data. So if you'd like to be part of this project or you think, wow, man, maybe I am having money problems, because not because I'm stupid or lazy, or I have the wrong job. Nobody taught me. Nobody taught me how to get enough money to ever have enough money, to ever save enough money, to invest enough money, to ever have financial freedom. So after a while, you play a game long enough and you can't win at it, you finally throw in the towel. That's what everybody does, okay? And for all of you out there that are on the mantra, never quit, never quit, never quit, come on, everybody quits, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, real. Everybody quits. Everybody, okay? Since you were a little kid, I know for myself, if I can't win at a game sooner or later, after a while I get frustrated, throw the board down and walk away. And I go play another game. So look, I wanna help you with this money game. If you wanna be part of this project, reach out to me, let me know. And the, and the best way to get involved in the project is to basically to send me a short video or in comments, post, who taught you about money in your life and what did they teach you, okay? And hey, what didn't they teach you? Did anybody say get rich? Did anybody say create 17 flows of income and here's how you do it? Did anybody say never walk away from your first flow of income until you got the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and the sixth one? Did anyone tell you that the 401k is a scam that was literally created by Wall Street to trap your money and steal it and control it for the next 30 years? Did your mom and daddy tell you to buy a house? Everybody we interviewed today, that's what they said. Buy a house, get an education, save money. Did your daddy tell you save money, son? Okay. So look, if you wanna be part of this project, send me a short 30 second, 45 second, maybe one minute video 
Get some good lighting. I'd love to include you in it. Who taught you about money? What did they teach you? What didn't they teach you? Okay? So don't make it all glitzy like, oh, Grant Cardone's my coach. I don't need to be in this. It's not about me. It's about how you were brought up around money and the fact that you don't have any data or you got the wrong information. I think that's why you're broke or struggling. I know that's why I was broke for too long. That's why I struggled for way too long. I mean, I got this bird today. Literally every person that I know said, don't do that. That's a mistake. The only two people that told me that I should buy a jet were people that have 10 times the money that I have. Where are you getting advice from? Right? Teammates, teammates, you on my team, I'm on your team, okay? Look, I'm on your team whether you want me on your team or not, man. You love me today, you hate me tomorrow. I'm here to tell you the truth, okay?